Are you looking for the best wireless surround sound systems? In this video, we will look at some of the best wireless surround sound systems on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2.4 ERC SSE Max, the popular Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2 wireless surround sound system, which is still available, would have made this roundup list for its immersive, realistic sound, clarity of audio, and massive bass rumble from its twin 10-inch powered subwoofers. Customers and critics alike have showered it with adoration since 2017. But the new Shockwave Ultra 9.2.4 ERC SSE Max system goes further in nearly every conceivable way with hardware and software upgrades. It now has HDMI 2.1 connections with ERC to the TV to enable the highest quality lossless audio, 4K HDR and Dolby Vision video, and features like variable refresh rate VR, for next-gen gaming consoles. It also has Bluetooth 5.0 with Qualcomm AptX HD Rare for a soundbar system and that lets you stream Bluetooth audio at up to 24-bit digital quality. The SSE Max designation refers to Nakamichi's new technology currently exclusive to this system for creating realistic 360-degree immersive audio in a home theater. It's the combination of Shockwave's three spatial surround elevation audio processing engines for enhancing the sense of spaciousness to the soundstage, balancing the surround sound mix across all the speakers, and creating audio height effects for object-oriented formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. Upgraded hardware includes redesigned extended-range twin-cone drivers in the soundbar, new high-output amplifiers and upgraded drivers in the subwoofers, and second-generation two-way quad-modular surround speakers with new silk dome tweeters and extended-range twin-cone drivers. A new matte black finish and second-gen backlit remote round out the updates, which Nakamichi based on customer surveys, beta tests, and customer review feedback. The $1,899 MSRP Shockwave Ultra 9.2 ERC SSE Max requires a lot of space, power outlets, and experimentation to find the right setup for the four surround speakers, but it rewards your effort with a powerful and lifelike cocoon of sound. At Number 2. JBL Bar 9.1 If you're looking for a wireless surround sound system with a simple setup, it doesn't get much simpler or more truly wireless than the JBL Bar 9.1. While the wireless component of most systems means you don't have to attach speaker wire, you usually still need to find a power outlet to plug in all your satellite surround speakers. Not so with the BAR 9.1. Its rear surround speakers detach from the main sound bar unit and work on battery power for up to 10 hours. When you're finished, dock them in the sound bar so they can recharge in about 3 hours. Or you can charge them independently via micro USB. While the rear speakers recharge, you can still use the full system for virtual surround. When you detach them again, they detect their distance to the sound bar to calibrate the sound. But you can also use the auto calibration tool to optimize the sound mix for your room upon your initial setup or any other time you move the rear speakers. For the immersive 3D audio formats that send overhead sounds like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, the BAR 9.1 has two up-firing speakers on the sound bar and one each on the satellite units, which also have front-firing speakers. Combining those surrounds with the subwoofer, the 5.1.4 Atmos performance is very satisfying for a relatively compact system like this, but the BAR 9.1 also has a neutral and balanced sound that works well for the whole gamut of audio, from listening to spoken word material to watching the most explosive of big-budget movies. A mid-2023 refresh of the JBL soundbar line, which we hope to experience firsthand, promises to take this expandable all-in-one concept to new, well, heights, and lengths and depths, and introduces the JBL 1300X as the new flagship. That doesn't mean the JBL Bar 9.1 is outdated, however. At Number 3. Blue Sound Pulse System. If you're willing to piece your purchases together, the Blue Sound Pulse by Audiophiles for Audiophiles wireless surround sound system is technologically very versatile and the first multi-room system to support the MQA format that folds and unfolds digital data to stream high-res audio without a ton of bandwidth. With the soundbar plus as its centerpiece, shown above, combined with a dual-band Wi-Fi 802.11 AC equipped Pulse Sub Plus and two equally wireless Pulse Flex 2i or Pulse M satellite speakers, the system can expand two-channel stereo content into a spacious soundstage thanks to Blue Sound's audiophile-grade drivers, high-performance digital-to-analog converter, and clean, powerful Class D amplification. 
the 8-speaker forward-facing configuration of a 1-inch tweeter, 2-inch mid-range driver, 4-inch woofer, and 4-inch passive radiator, one set left and one right is optimized for music streaming thanks to a powerful quad-core ARM processor that handles high-quality audio with blazing speed. The resulting, authoritative sound handles vocals with visceral detail, while the overall tonality is balanced, never artificial. Lows and mids sound warm yet not fuzzy, and the treble is precise without sounding harsh. If you have a wealth of advanced resolution downloads slash personally ripped digital music, Blue Sound can be used as a rune endpoint if you've set up a compatible music server on your local network. Otherwise, you can stream lossless music directly from iOS devices via AirPlay 2 on Wi-Fi and or higher bitrate, though still lossy transmissions via any device that supports Bluetooth, compatible Android devices can even connect via AppDex HD. If you subscribe to Spotify and or Tidal, both services have a natively supported Connect service so the highest quality stream will go directly via Wi-Fi to the soundbar plus, bypassing your phone. The Blue OS app consolidates source control, as well as offers some EQ connected to the TV via a single HDMI E arc connection, the dimensionally tall, but aesthetically unobtrusive Blue Sound Pulse soundbar plus decodes Dolby Atmos material directly but with nuance, although with more subtlety in its height rather than in its width due to the lack of upfiring drivers. It presents music compellingly without any processing, although there are some interesting audio modes and up-mixing options with which to experiment. According to our assistant managing editor, who has experienced a complete Blue Sound Pulse setup, adding in a pair of Flex 2i speakers allows sonic textures to be even more open and expressive, most impactful when watching demo-worthy Atmos films like Mad Max, Fury Road and Baby Driver or while playing a selection of spatial audio from Apple Music on the Apple TV 4K. Music, especially, feels authentic, a well-rounded presentation from a flat facade, the soundbar plus with surrounds assures every track scope is fully conveyed without losing anything granular as it unfurls. And if you have high ceilings or a wider, open viewing space, adding in physical surround speakers makes a world of difference when compared to soundbars that use reflections to convey dimensionality. On the other end of the spectrum, the SUV Plus offers versatile, visceral LFE reinforcement, its 8-inch long-throw driver and 150-watt amplifier taking the 70Hz cap of the soundbar plus down to 22Hz, capable of laying flat under a sofa or sitting up against a wall, the sealed enclosure is easily integrated physically into any room layout, wall outlet allowing, and digitally via home network and the Blue OS app. As for what the SUV Plus adds sonically, its tunefulness. It's a subwoofer that's far more about nimble pluck than unchecked pump, though it can reach dynamically deep, the SUV Plus impressed far more with its dexterity. If you value realism as much as rumble, the SUV Plus is another amazing addition to the Blue Sound ecosystem. Not watching anything or wanting to restrict your soundtrack to a single room? You can relocate an ultra-compact mono Pulse Flex 2i or even more expressive omni-hybrid stereo Pulse M speaker around your home, or just get extras for other zones. As long as they are all on the same Wi-Fi network, you pass whatever music you're streaming from speaker to speaker if you move to specific areas or have it play simultaneously throughout the house, wherever the action is. At number 4. Enclave Cine Home Pro. The YSA Wireless Speaker and Audio Association technology may not be a huge buzzword in home audio, but it's worth your attention. It allows the transmission of up to 8 channels of uncompressed 24-bit slash 96 kHz high-res audio, twice the resolution of CD audio, on wireless frequencies that won't interfere with Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi bandwidth. And the YSA audio is so low latency, 5.2 milliseconds, that it will appear perfectly synced with your TV's picture. The Enclave Cinehome Pro 5.1 Wireless Surround Sound System is the first THX certified YSA system with its level of surround sound support and it may add Dolby Atmos support at a later date through a firmware update. While only a 5.1 system, the Cinehome Pro puts out beautiful audio with attention to detail. Each audio channel gets its own speaker unit that can sit horizontally or vertically to save surface area. With three-way center and front left slash right units, and two-way rear left slash right units, the system balances the entire frequency range extraordinarily well. It also gets very loud, but the audio stays clean regardless of the volume level. A helpful control app puts different sound modes at your fingertips, including the excellent whole room stereo mode, which makes the Cine Home Pro an impeccable system for music listening on top of its immersive surround sound performance for home theater. At number 5. 
Sony HTA 7000 with SW3 subwoofer and RS3S rear speakers. Many people may assume that any wireless surround sound system they purchase will work great out of the box with any TV, game console, or other devices they have. But, unfortunately, to get everything possible out of your other electronics, you may need to make sure that your home theater sound system has the highest level of HDMI connection, which the Sony HTA 7000 has. Its two HDMI 2.1 pass-through inputs and HDMI 2.1 eARC output support 8K video at 60Hz, 4K at 120Hz, and Dolby Vision HDR, which makes it perfectly suited for the highest resolution video and audio. If your content hub is a next-generation game console like the Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, you might want a Sony Bravi XR TV and to plug the console directly into that, with the soundbar attached to the eARC port, to take full advantage of game-centric protocols like VR, variable refresh rate, and ALLM auto low latency mode. However, no matter how you've got everything patched in, what comes out of this soundbar will astound you. The HTA 7000 with SW3 subwoofer and RS3S rear surround speakers is just a highly impressive system with a simple, wireless setup and a moderate-sized footprint. It's built very solidly and has an auto room calibration tool. The soundbar's side and top firing drivers along with the rear speakers create a large sweet spot for native immersive content in the Atmos or DTS-X formats, and the immersive AEUP mixing effect does a credible job of making any audio source more 3D. It's also a powerful system for almost any sized living room. Even though the SW3 subwoofer doesn't dip quite as low into the frequency range as some others, it is very powerful, so keep your picture frames securely attached to the walls and alert the neighbors if you have to. Fortunately, the remote control has dedicated volume controls for both the subwoofer and rear surround speakers.